Hey, what's going on guys? Jolts here, back with another item guide, and today we're going over the legendary Ion Cannon. This launcher is the launcher. Do you guys remember the Northfleet from Borderlands 2? Yeah, this is basically it, but more accurate. To get this gun, you will need the Handsome Jackpot DLC. Within the DLC, you're going to want to farm Fabricator Mark II. So yeah, let's go ahead and get the launcher. Alright, so what you want to do is head over to Jack's Secret, and you're going to head all the way to the end of the map. It is a pretty long map, so I'll meet you guys when I get there. Alright, we made it to the end, and be sure to hit this save station right here, so that when you save quit, you can spawn right here. And it's a very short walk to the arena. So yeah, let's go ahead and jump down and take on the boss. Alright, first run. Let's see. You blow up, and I think we actually got it. <laughs> really? Yep, there it is. Alright, let me clear the enemies up and we'll check it out. Uh, yeah. We have ourselves the Ion Cannon. Now, this one happened to be times two, but it can also be times one. Anyways, damage, extremely high. At this point in time, I believe this item has the highest base damage in the game. Anyways, accuracy good, and everything else is kinda low. My text is fun detected, obliterate. Bonus, weapon damage, weapon fire rate, splash damage radius, consumes two ammo per shot, 2.2 times weapon zoom. This one happens to be cryo, but it can come in different elements. Okay, I think this drop might be guaranteed. I've been getting one every run. Let's do a few more. There's another one. Yeah, it seems like this thing is guaranteed every run. So that's going to make getting this drop super easy. But yeah, you can see here times two. Uh, this one's times one. And this one happens to be, yeah, times two. All right, the launcher looks pretty cool. Uh, it's yellow with a stripe down the middle. Actually, I would say that's more gold than yellow. Yeah. And you can see the rocket magazine on the side here. Yeah, I like it. So with the launcher, you can't simply click it and shoot it. You have to charge it. So you hold it down for like one second and shoot it. Uh, it's really not that long, but it takes a little bit. You might also notice it's super accurate too. All right, so we're on Mayhem 4 and the modifiers are neutral. Charge it up. And he just got one shot. Yeah. One shot on you. There's really no point to aim down sight. It's already pinpoint accurate. Okay, you're dead. That guy's dead. Everybody's dying in one shot. That was almost a million. I don't know what to really say about this launcher other than it's stupid OP and it feels like the North Fleet of Borderlands 3 right now. It's really fun. Literally one-shotting enemies with a build that's not even like focused on launchers. Uh, so with this kind of damage, it's definitely a bossing weapon too. It has to be. That was a million. And he dropped uh, something over there. Don't worry about it. Let's go take on a boss and see what happens. All right, so we're at Grave Ward and the modifiers are neutral. Uh, let's go ahead and get terrified and go for the chest. And that's a pretty good chunk of damage. Yeah, look at this. Actually effortless. Like, imagine if I got one of these in fire. We'd be doing even more. And boss down. Wow. Eh, I got a few random things. Uh, but anyways, final thoughts on the Ion Cannon. Honestly, there's not a whole lot to say about it other than stupid damage, ammo efficient, uh, really good for second wins, pretty accurate, destroys mobs, good for bossing, and this gun is, I'm gonna say it again, the Norfleet of Borderlands 3. And yeah, I would say pick it up and try it for yourself, guys. Go make a joke of the Mayhem 4 enemies. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and of course, if you did, then please be sure to leave a like, because that'd be awesome. And if you guys really enjoyed it, be sure to sub. You guys have a great day, and I will see you all later. Peace out.